Well, is it on? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, I think we just got to say it was a great film. Thank you. And it's wonderful to have you here with us um, and just share your film with us. So, thank appreciate you. It, appreciate it. Yeah. By the way, just quick disclaimer, I only directed one of those films. Um, <laughs> we, didn't even, we announced in the beginning, uh, sit down and shut up, I did not, yeah, I love that little film, but I, I definitely I directed the second film, just for clarity. Sweet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, I can ask something, first yeah. question? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, um, how exactly did you first come across this story? and meet some of these people that were at the heart of the story. Sure. Um, you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah everybody. Uh, um, no, uh, so what happened was, uh, hey, thank you. Um, it's like to be here. A quick apology. This is a new print of the film, and I realized about two minutes in, the soundtrack was about like three decibels low, so you did not hear the surf track and the Celtic track to full extent. It will be streaming in a few weeks, so please give a listen. I, I felt like I, I, I'm glad my composer, who was with me in California, was not here for that. But anyway, uh, you heard a little bit of it, but it, it really is uh, I'm, uh, the soundtrack. I have uh, just an apology on that. But anyway, um, no, but the, the story of how it started was um, I'm a big music person, and do um, um, you guys hear me? Is, is, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, uh, about five years ago, I've been like taking music, and I've worked in uh, media and advertising. Some of my colleagues are here tonight, so thank you guys for coming out. Um, and uh, but I'm a oh, huge movie fan, uh, for, uh, and I just I kind of knew that I wanted to make a film. So about five years ago, I started thinking, hey, I, I would take on producing something, and I came up with a, a, a yellow pad sheet of uh, like about ten ideas. Um, you know, I basically sat with other producers, and they were like, hey, you got to buy it. Uh, or come up with your own idea. So I started uh, focusing on ideas which would not cost, require $100 million in financing, <laughs> and, uh, or Marvel rights. Um, so, uh, but one idea on that sheet was a uh, uh, surf story, because obviously you heard my background, Irish family grew up, um, and I, you know, I, but I thought it was gonna be a scripted story. I thought it was gonna be a script, and I started uh, doing research to develop it, and, um, and then I reached out to Kevin Cavey, was the first reach, reach out. And he, you know, picked up the phone, and he's like, hey, listen, happy to talk. And we, uh, we wound up doing a uh, correspondence. He had done a self-published book, which was a great starting point. And then like, when I started reading it, I, it just, like, I, uh, I think it drew me to it was um, the contrasts. Uh, I saw, like, hey, 62 to 72 was, like, an interesting point of the story, of the arc that I felt was most interesting. And it was, like, hey, simultaneously, it was, like, uh, I kind of use um, Charles Dickens' uh, best of times, uh, worst of times. And it was, like, I knew it was the most violent years of the Troubles overlapped, but it was also when it was really probably the most unknown secret spot in all of surfing, one of them in the world. And uh, th those kind of drew me in, and that's how... And then I really quickly, that research changed from a scripted story to documentary. Yeah, that's that. interesting. It could have been a narrative feature then at, at one point. Yeah, yeah. and it's still may. We're now, now we're oh. going back the other way. <laughs> yeah. so, okay. A follow-up could come. Potentially, we'll yeah. see, we'll see. <laughs> um, okay, what is, or what was the most surprising or difficult or just plain memorable part of working on this film? You know what, uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, so I, you know, it, this is a, a you know, a first film, you know, it's like kind of a, a journey. I lived, it was like, basically, my, my wife, her expression was like, this is the equivalent of you going to film school. And it was, it was like, you know, if I had gone to USC or NYU, she probably would divorce me. Um, so it's like, good to go with the product. But that was a... You know, it was, it was, I learned so much. I mean, the biggest thing I, I learned was, um, so yeah, another little thing on the story is, it took about three years from that, uh, of actual, uh, about a year and a half of uh, busy work, and then I put it aside for a year. I got to a creative crossroads where I was like, it has to be 90 minutes. It's funny, I was putting these restrictions on myself that it had to be certain things. And then all of a sudden I was like, it, and the troubles had to be a bigger part of it. And then when I kind of changed it to more of the, 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 the conflict between the two camps, it all of a sudden it clicked. And I was like, it does not need to be, um, you know, 120 minutes or a 90 minute film. So I, I basically then, I started doing edit myself. I did 
went on LinkedIn Learning, uh, learned Avid. <laughs> By the way, 30-day 30, 30 trial, you can you know, see a lot of your things. Um, but uh, yeah, but I, I did a rough cut of it, and um, so that was like, I mean, that was a huge, uh, it was out of necessity, I didn't have like endless funds, and crowdfunded eventually, but um, it was a, that was great, like learning editing, and I don't consider myself a film editor at this point by any means, um, but it was a, it was great in terms of learning process, and the, but the biggest uh, benefit is you know I got to I got to live uh, like in, in my mind, and when I'm in front of my monitor in our basement in Brooklyn now in LA, um, in a very cool part of Ireland, where you know I got to, to occupy this slice of history, which uh, now I'm excited to share with other people a very unknown part of history, which I, I kind of uh, I felt like privileged. I love these guys. I mean, Davy Govan was at the Belfast premiere. Um, and then we did a, you know, went surfing the next day, amazingly. <laughs> it's it's got to be the first documentation of this story, probably. Right? It's, you know, there has been, uh, you know, who knew that, I'm just curious, because this is always kind of interesting to me, who knew that there was surfing in Ireland? Okay, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I, I, I had kind of assumed as a surfer that it was a little bit well more well-known, but it's still a lot of people, like, half the reaction of people over the last four years, and they're like, oh, wow. Just surfing in Ireland, you know, and it's like it's it's still kind of unknown, but um, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, I deviated from the question though. What was the question? Oh, it's all right. It was like a, but uh, but yeah, the, being around these guys, it was it was great. I always had this story. I always find my way back. Uh, had the story been told? It had been told in a very survey way. Um, like you know, hey, like. Uh, it started with Kevin Cavey, and then it goes to Mulligmore, you know, hundred foot wave, and it's like. Whereas I'm very narrative, like I, it was kind of like this decade. This, and I was like, I, I love the, the details, yeah, find like, the story. yeah, the small, the small stories of like, and which ultimately, principally, is Davy Govan and you know Kevin Cavey uh, as kind of like the two main characters, and then also like some of the other smaller stories like Viv Evans, the the. the, 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 the the drinking whiskey at 13, who kind of kills every time, which is great. Let's see that's here that still does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, should we have yeah. questions from the audience? Yeah, let's open okay. up. Yeah. Uh,